hello there god bless you you are welcome to prophetic intercession with a mail always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the lord god bless you if this is the first time you're clicking on my video i pray that this blesses you tremendously in the mighty name of jesus amen i've got a prophetic word for someone avoid her if you see this red flags run do not try to reconsider it will not end well i know you might have a contrary view view and you might say that um you know your case is different but believe me in the long run it will not be that different if you are with someone especially a woman who is offended by the word submission as it is in the bible if the woman is offended they don't want to hear about the word submission how the way the bible says it there is a great problem i have come across so many women that um have a problem with submission and they say um you know it's a two-way street and everything yes Submission is a, is a two-way way thing. But the Bible says a woman should submit to her husband. Her husband is submitted to God. You must submit. Or you might say, um, I cannot submit to a man that does not um, is not worth submitting to. He makes life difficult for me. That is why you've got to be with someone who makes submission easy. If the person is unreasonable, if they do not, if they do not um, make submission easy for you, it means you do not choose the right person. When you want to get married, choose someone that you can easily submit to because submission is a requirement for a lady in every marriage. You've got to learn to submit. And if the woman has a problem with submission, there is a, a huge problem. That relationship might not last. And secondly, when a woman sees herself equal to a man there is a problem you know this is something that only occurred to me not too long ago it occurred to me like the holy spirit told me himself he told me that a, a woman is not equal to a man no matter how you want to see it a woman is not equal to a man he says, a woman is secondary to a man. So if a woman has a problem occupying that second position, it's a red flag. It doesn't matter whether they, they make more money, they earn more. It doesn't matter if they are more educated, more exposed. Whatsoever their, 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 their portfolio is, it's not going to be well. If they think they are equal, the Bible says that um, Sarah so honored her husband that she called him Lord. Lord means owner. It means she she considered herself secondary to the man so much so that she she even called the man Lord, which means you own me, you are over me, you are my master. We are not like this. You are like this and I am below. If a woman has a problem with that, you have to think twice about being with them. It's a red flag. You might be so much in love right now and you do not see it, but it's just a matter of time before it starts um, before it starts backfiring. Yeah. And another red flag you should not ignore is if a woman doesn't feel comfortable about um, when they disdain the concept of a traditional wife and mother. You know, there are some women, they think um, it is old school to, to, to be a traditional wife and to um, build your life around your children. The thing it shouldn't be so. It is not a woman's place. A woman is a nurturer. It doesn't matter how busy you are. You've got to find time to nurture your home. Nurturing is not just for your children, for your husband as well. 
if a woman has a problem with being a nurturer a woman is not just a life giver no you don't just give life and let it be you've got to want to nurture your children nurture your home and watch it flourish if a woman has a problem with being a, a traditional mother and wife in the long run it might not be well for that relationship i hope i was able to speak to someone i hope that the holy spirit is going to expand shape this and broaden it even further as you listen to me in the mighty name of jesus amen